This monstrous plant is one of our most unusual vegetables here in our gardens. This is a Jerusalem artichoke, and it was planted about three years ago next to our compost pile, which was our first mistake. The Jerusalem artichoke is kin to the sunflower and grown pretty much like a potato, but its biggest uh, disappointment is that it is so evasive that it actually will take over. And it started growing up in our compost pile, and the foliage, as you can see, is pretty dense, and the canes are about 10 feet tall, and it can actually shade out our compost pile and have a negative impact on our decomposition of the organic matter. The artichoke is, like I say, grown pretty much like a potato. We planted some tubers with two or three eyes on them back in March, late March, after the chance of freeze is over. And then we planted them about four to six inches. And again, they've grown very aggressively all summer long about 10 feet tall, but they do have some real attractive showy yellow flowers that are very similar to sunflowers. Now we've had about two or three frost on the artichoke, and that's the time that we need to start harvesting them. Now we wanted to show you too how evasive it is. As you can see, there's some smaller ones that are growing out quite a ways. And a good thing to keep in mind is that some people will actually grow them in an area surrounded by their lawn, such as fescue or Bermuda grass, to keep it contained where it doesn't spread too much. But now that our canes are killed back, let's go in and harvest those. And the first thing that we do is just go in and cut the canes about four to six inches so we can use those to help pull up the tubers. Well, we've cut all of our canes off, and we're going to try to recycle those, too. we have fortunate enough to have a chipper shredder that will come in and chip these up and put them back in our compost pile, but the canes are actually big enough, tall enough, and strong enough that we could save them in a dry area just like we did our sunflower stalks and use those next year as support system or trellis system for some of our vegetables that might be vining. Well, we've dug up a few, and we've got some pretty good-sized tubers here, and they're actually pretty easy to dig up if you've got a loose soil like this. And the hardest part, though, is going to be cleaning those up. But what you want to do is just take a, a pitchfork and just loosen those up. And again, remember, we left the stalks on here to try to make it easier to pull them up. And as you can see how the tubers in are growing underneath the root system there. And you just break those off and harvest those like that. And then next year, um, if you want to try your hand at planting some of those, again, you need two to three different eyes on the tuber. And sometimes these seed stock are a little bit hard to get your hand on. So you can leave them in the ground, um, harvest them throughout the winter as you'd like, maybe mulch them a little bit, and they'll come back or even try your hand at ordering some through the garden centers or mail order catalogs. And then uh, if you have no luck at finding them then, just go into the grocery store, buy a few. But keep in mind that they're usually treated with a sprout retardant, and you may not have a good success in getting them to germinate for you. But some people have been known to get some starts just like that. But the thing to remember is just make sure you get them in an area where you can keep them under control because they really are an invasive plant. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.